Space holds so many mysteries still to this day, but astronomers are making new discoveries every day. From the theories of planet formation to the sighting of unique, one-of-a-kind celestial bodies, each one of these space discoveries gives us the key to understanding our universe. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three of these space discoveries. Astronomers find mysterious cavity in space 500 light years away. Astronomers have recently discovered an enormous cavity which they believe was the result of a stellar explosion millions of years ago. Described as a bubble shaped void, they discovered the cavity between the Perseus and Taurus constellations. More precisely, it was found in a star forming region, which is a cluster of gas and dust which, to date, scientists believe form from supernovas. Having mapped the Perseus Taurus constellation star forming region, Data collected by the Gaia spacecraft revealed the huge cavity which previously went unnoticed by 2D mapping systems. Scientists had long been aware of this star region. The depth and thickness of the molecular clouds associated with the region had been a mystery for some time. There are a couple of current theories as to the presence of the void within this star-forming region. Either it is possible that a supernova exploded at the core of the bubble, pushing gas outwards and expanding the cavity, or a series of supernovae over the period of millions of years created and added to it over time. Although they may not know for sure what caused this phenomenon, scientists are well aware of how much more there is to learn about the region and supernova-related events in general. Discovering this void while trying to understand how gas and dust are released and rearranged during stellar explosions, they now want to turn their focus to the chain of events triggered by the ending of a star and the resulting supernova explosion. Saturn's translucent rings revealed in Cassini image NASA's Cassini spacecraft has captured an incredible snapshot that shows the translucent nature of Saturn's rings, one of the most recognized features of any planet in the Milky Way galaxy. The Cassini mission was a combined project of NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Italian Space Agency. The spacecraft was designed and developed at JPL and spent more than a decade examining Saturn. The incredible image was taken with Cassini's narrow-angle camera before the intentional end of the mission in 2017 when the spacecraft was hurled into Saturn. Amazingly, the rings of Saturn are visible in the stunning image taken by Cassini and show just how translucent these rings are due to how the light reflected off Saturn's cloud tops is seen through the rings. Although Saturn's rings appear solid in some of the images, the rings are an envelope of water ice that surrounds the gas giant. These particles range in size from as large as mountains to smaller than a grain of sand. Saturn's ring system extends up to 175,000 miles from the planet. Despite this incredible width, the rings are only 30 feet thick in the majority of places. This new image has captured the true nature of Saturn's rings. The translucency almost makes Saturn look delicate, although that is far from the reality of the planet. Although the Cassini mission has already ended, Another mission will hopefully be able to gather even more data that tells us a more complete story about this incredible planet. New Galaxy Protocluster Discovered in Early Universe Speaking of galactic clusters, scientists have uncovered a brand new protocluster which has been dubbed PHZ G237014250, or simply G237. G237 possesses 63 galaxies, some of which are blue star forming and contain cosmic nuclei, but unfortunately, this galaxy is an entire 10.6 billion light years away, extremely far from us. Dr. Brenda Fry from the University of Arizona stated, This discovery is an important step toward reaching our ultimate goal, understanding the assembly of galaxy clusters, the most massive structures that exist in the universe. The protocluster was originally spotted using the ESA's Planck telescope during an ordinary all-sky scan when G237 appeared in infrared on the electromagnetic spectrum, showing itself for the very first time. As soon as they could, 
Astronomers got to researching this enigma further with other telescopes. Dr. Fry and her team of astronomers utilized the Subaru telescope in Japan alongside the binocular telescope in Arizona to help with their research. Dr. Fry stated, you can think of galaxy protoclusters such as G237 as a galaxy shipyard in which massive galaxies are being assembled. Only this structure existed at a time when the galaxy was 3 billion years old. At the same time, the genealogy may be closer than you think. Because the universe is homogeneous and the same in all directions, we think that the Milky Way may have docked at a protocluster node similar to G237 when it was very young. The team's initial observations suggested that the rate of forming stars in the cluster was insanely high, and impossibly so. The data they gathered greatly confused the researchers who struggled to make sense of how that could be. The data showed that the G237 cluster was creating stars more than 10,000 times at the rate of our own Milky Way. The reason why this felt impossible to the astronomers is simple. At such speeds, the protocluster would have surely used up its entire supply of stellar fuel and should have settled, just as the Virgo supercluster had done. Dr. Fry explained the protocluster as, Each of the 63 galaxies discovered so far in G237 was like a star factory in overdrive. It's as if the galaxies were working overtime to assemble stars. The rate of production was unsustainable. At such a pace, the supply chains are expected to break in the near future and in a way that permanently shuts down the galaxy shipyard. Hydrogen gas is required for stars to upkeep the production, meaning there had to be a continuous source for this to occur. Dr. Fry claims it would require an efficient and unbroken supply chain that drew in unreasonably large amounts of fresh gas to fuel the star-forming factories. We don't know where that gas was coming from. However, they managed to unravel that the galaxy was partially corrupted. The observations took into consideration galaxies outside of the protocluster. Once this was corrected, the findings were far more realistic, yet still respectively high, reaching at the very least to 1,000 solar masses a year compared with our galaxy's one solar mass per year. Dr. Fry compares the correction to the shipyard allegory, stating it now seems that they found a successful galaxy shipyard that is working at a high efficiency to assemble galaxies and the stars within them now that the hydrogen amount has been confirmed as sustainable for such a large production of stars and galaxies. But what do you make of these new discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.